we are continuing our series on understanding binary in C Sharp with lesson number four. In this video, we're gonna learn about bit shifting in 10 minutes or less. So here I have a kind of a setup version. We kind of take what we had before and just tweaked it a little bit. For example, I created this local method called convert to binary, which takes in integer and a number of places, but it defaults to eight. And that does the convert to string value base two, uh, pad left, and the number of places with the zero. Instead of typing all that out, we just now can type convert to binary and the binary value. I would probably actually convert this into an extension method, but I didn't want to have a different uh, class file every time. So I'm going to leave it here and just call us convert to binary. So we have a binary value, but let's talk about bit shifting. So right now, if we run this application as is, we see the original value is nine. The original value is zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one for base two. Okay. That's our binary value, but let's bit shift this value. So we're going to say that uh, binary value equals binary value. And then we're going to put two of the left um, angle brackets. So they're kind of pointing to the left. And then we're going to say we're going to bit shift this by three. Okay. So what is a bit shift? So the left, this is called a, uh, a bitwise shift left. We have this. We are also going to look at bitwise shift right in just a minute. But this is shift left. So think of a bitwise shift left as basically adding three zeros on the right. Okay, so what did that do? Well, it just multiplied our number significantly. Remember that every place represents a doubling of the value. So we just multiplied our number significantly by adding three numbers. So let's start off with our value of nine. And we're going to now just copy this uh, right here and we'll paste it back in again. And so we'll see the new value. Um, the new value is for these two and see how much just shifting to the left three gave us. So original value is nine, the new value is 72. Notice that three zero before our, um, on the, to the right of our one zero zero one, we have one to the left. So it basically moved these numbers three places to the left in base two or in binary. So this is a way to multiply out values. Now, we don't often see just bit shifts like this, shifting an existing number. More likely, what you're going to see is you're going to see something like this, um, where we, we say one bit shift three places. So what does that look like? Well, if we run this, now it's not affecting the original binary value, but it's the value is eight. Notice it's three zeros and then a one if we're reading, reading right to left. Um, so it shifted a value of one to the fourth place. Okay. So zero, it put three zeros here and then to the left of it, it put our one. This is a much more common thing you'll probably see is when we're bit shifting left. We say one and then the, the, the left bitwise uh, or bitwise shift left operator, and then three saying, hey, move it over three positions. So why is this valuable? Well, if we want to write out numbers in binary, well, what if you wanted to write out, um, you know, the number, well, especially, well, let's, let's start hit this. If we want to write out the number um, 16, well, what's 16? Um, I have to remember to do my math here. Um, 16, 8, for two, uh, and I think that's 16 right there. Um, let's find out. Um, there you go. I'm pretty sure at 16. Um, let's find out for sure. We run this and there we go, 16. Hey, I was right. Um, so, but you saw how I kind of strolled through that, like, oh, wait, which position was that? And what if I asked you for 256? Well, um, at 16, so there's 32, 64, uh, 128, 256. That'd be 256. And if we um, run this, then sure enough, it's um, base two or 256. Notice it's actually larger than eight 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, that's okay. We're not, we're padding it, but if it goes beyond that, we just allow it to go beyond that. So that's 256. Well, remembering that's kind of hard. Okay. But you can bit shift and get that to the, um, was it eight? Um, and there you go. 256. Just bit shift to the left eight. That's, you know, a small reason why you might do that. Uh, let's kind of calm us back down. Um, but another thing is you might be saying, hey, I want just position eight to be, or actually position nine, but I want that to be what's used. Um, and so we bit shift over. We're going to use this when we get into flags later on. So it's important to know how bit shifting works and why it works. Um, but also note that um, it's usually used in conjunction with other things. So that's bit shift left. Let's look at what bit shift right might look like. So we'll go back to binary value and say we're going to bit shift to the right. Well, how you do right? Um, you do the right angle bracket twice. And let's only bit shift uh, two. Okay. So what would bit shift right be? Well, left added, it moved everything over to the left two places. So bit shift right is going to do the opposite, which is going to move everything to the right two places. And our number here is 1001. So how does it move things over to the right? It's going to essentially cut these two off and just forget about them. Just delete them. We're not going to do decimal points because that's not how binary works. So we're just going to drop those two off. So the bit shift right is a division. It makes something smaller. So let's run this. So the original value is nine. The new value is two because we bit shift to the right by two places. We cut off these two places and now the new value is essentially just one zero, which is two. Okay. So that's how a bit shift right. And again, we could do that with other values, but typically you'll see this. We're going to divide and, and kind of cut down a number and you would, would bit shift to the right uh, using a number and then you know, shrinking it down. Again, that's a division, okay? So that is bit shift left, which is more common, um, and bit shift right, which is less common, but still useful for a lot of things. So that's how you do bit shifting. We're gonna see actually using bit shifting coming up in future lessons, but I wanted to kind of point out how bit shifting works so that you're not surprised. So when you look at bit shifting, um, let's just copy this so you have both values. You can see it both. Um, when we did the bit shifting the, to the uh, left, and we said one and shifted to the right two, that's a really common thing to see. Um, and it's really common for, again, working with flags, other things. So, but it's also a multiplication. And it's often easy to miss that when you look at it just as this, because you say, oh, it's just adding zeros to the end. Well, yes, but it's taking whatever the existing number is and adding zero to the right, which when we do, is do this, it's just a one. So it's just adding, it's putting that one in the place wherever uh, and moving it over by the number of zeros. So just to be a little bit more clear there. Uh, when you see this, it's often easy to go, oh, we just add zeros um, and you put a, a one value in one in the, in this place, a third place. Well, yes and no. What we're actually doing is moving the entire thing over. It's just that in this case, it's just a one. Whereas in this case, it's a one zero zero one. And so both cases, it moves to the left. It's just important to know that it's not just putting a one in a certain slot. It's actually moving an entire number over. Okay. So that's how to do bit shifting in C sharp.